Hey, I would greatly appreciate it if you could support me. Simply go to ebay.com in a search bar, type in Latrice Limited, click on that, and then support me. I have a wide variety of items on there, many of my own personal Latrice Limited items, such as candles, bath bombs, soaps, essential oil blends, lingerie, robes, teddy, so much. I even have comic books, I have men's ties, a whole bunch of stuff. Definitely do that, and do not forget to like and subscribe, and now, let's get into this video. Post office, post office, post office. USPS hunted by 452 packages of unidentified created remains. The United States Postal Service is looking for a way to get 452 packages of unidentified created remains to the final destination. Though USPS is the only legal method for sending cremated remains through the mail, the OIG uh, found that strict shipping rules are not being followed between 28 to 50 percent of the time. Regulations state that these sensitive parcels must be shipped via priority express mail and labeled with an alarming orange cremated remains sticker. This label is supposed to indicate the goods uh, should be handled by their specific protocols. Overlooking these rules could be a major reason hundreds of cremated remains are currently rested or resting at USPS Lost Package Warehouse, officially known as the Mail Recovery Center. And ineligible addresses are often another big reason behind the wayward packages. Packages sent to the MRC are typically held for 60 days and then sent to an auction. <laughs> site government deals are valued over 25 dollars but this does not apply to cre created remains i hope not you got someone's auntie at go uh, uh, govdeals.com selling for 25 all you know what i mean i hope these parcels get home may seem unlikely the oig's report says the MRC continues to work to find a resolution for delivering these undeliverable and or damaged created re, uh, cremated remains packages. Those wary of postal debacles uh, don't have many options besides the USPS. An individual may personally transport remains via automobile or airplane, but will be required to provide a legal death certificate or a cremation permit and a letter to the fun funeral home. Wow, that's a lot. That is, uh, you gotta do all that? I, I don't know, I kind of thought it was much easier, you know, but I guess you gotta, you gotta give it to the post office. I mean, that'd be the easiest way, you know, but then again, maybe not. Uh, if flying TSA regulations require remain, remains to be screened like any other carry-on item would be. Uh, meaning the urn or container must be thin enough to be scanned. Only some airlines allow remains to be checked in. Cremation has outgrown the stigma that once surrounded it. While only 4% of Americans were cremated in 1960, that number jumped by 1 in 3 uh, by 2005. According to the report by the Cremation Association of North America, 59% of deceased Americans were cremated last year wow i mean one thing i will say and this is speaking a little bit from experience kind of so i used to work at the post office and whatnot and now i was a mail handler so the thing about that um a lot of the stuff especially if it was like express no one did, no one really taught you anything that was one of the things training was like almost non-existent it was just like Okay, yeah, y'all, uh, just go into this area over here, um, you know, move these boxes, put them in an APC or a BMC, and, uh, you know, um, I'll, I'll check in on y'all later. What? And I remember I was just throwing packages, I was just throwing them in any, because I didn't know. And people were like, no, they're supposed to be labeled, you're supposed to go by zip code, I'm like, uh well what's supposed to be what because you just you just have a whole bunch of apcs just sitting there and no one's doing anything and then they were like oh well uh well this one is this i was like well can you all label them because we're new and it's not just me who doesn't know what we're doing oh uh, well i mean just just know them you know this one's 618 this one's 619 this is 624 this is 609 this one over here is 618 as well this one over here is 617 that was it what I'm like, we're not gonna make this make sense, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and 
And then when you got to, because I've seen some created remains stuff, um, not many, but I have come across them. But even when you look at like the express stuff, so if you look at like the express mail, it's like in this orangish yellow blue bag. It's a very distinctive bag that no one tells you about. And I remember before I was taking the stuff out and dumping it until one day, probably, <laughs> probably was on my sixth or 10th one by that time at my time with my time there. And someone was like, oh, you know, you're supposed to take that over there to the window and that room. I was like, that's new because no one has ever told me that. You guys just say dump it. So you got people who are paying express prices, $60, $70, $50 to ship something. And I'm dumping it in with first class or priority, (laughs) you know? Um, And I wasn't the only one who did it because no one ever taught you anything. That's the problem. No one teaches you anything, you know? So it would not surprise me that this stuff was mislabeled because the person probably didn't even know how to do it because no one is teaching anybody you have managers standing around looking doing all this doing all that and it's like okay how about y'all get off your lazy booties and go teach somebody how to do the job properly right you know so that's probably why (laughs) it's not just like okay well the person just lazy and they just want to mislabel it probably because they didn't know how to do it because no one ever taught them and they just assumed okay maybe it has to go like this or maybe it's supposed to go like this. Maybe, and I don't know how the, uh, you know, the, um, the addresses went. I don't know if the person just gave them a BS address or however that went, you know? So I'm like, I can see how this is happening. Obviously it needs to get rectified, but at the same time, I see how it happens.